The next plugin I want to show you, here's one called Caffeinated Content. It's another good uh, plugin for automating your blog. Um, basically, this is under Settings, Settings, Caffeinated Content. And you can see, you put your registration email and key in, which you'll get when you buy it. Um, you can put this in if you want to. I don't tend to have the external links. Uh, a Yahoo um, developer IP, ID, you can put that in or not. And then if you want it in debug mode, just all you need to do is fill in those two forms there and you're sorted and then click go. Now, what this is going to do for you is caffeinated content is very, very clever in where it pulls its information from. So let's go through here to caffeinated content management and I'll show you. Okay, now this is the clever part of it. Under posts, you have a caffeinated content management. Now what you can do is you can put your list of keywords in here. Um, having used this, this sentence here from him is actually right. It does seem better. If you just put one keyword in at a time, it seems to work much, much better. So you can pick your content. Um, you can either upload some text files. You can use articles from article directories, YouTubes, or Yahoo Answers. Um, I tend to use a combination. I'll, I'll use this three or four times. So I'll do one for Yahoo Answers to start with. So let's say my keyword is, um, let's just say it's fatigue. You pick a, pick a post. So um, computed means it will create its own categories or you can specify categories. How many tags do you want generated automatically? Um, I want five because uh, remember I'm going to integrate this with Twitter to get comments. So yeah, that's going to be good. How many questions? Any number here. Um, now, how many questions do you want to add? Well, again, that's up to you. You can add as many as you want. So we'll just leave it at 50. Um, you can have the answers included as comments. Um, you can take that off if you're going to integrate it with Twitter, or you might well decide to have it on um, so that it makes your blog look like there's more comments. Um, clean bad words. Now, there is a, a bad words text file which you can use, and it'll clean off those words that you don't want. Um, auto approve your post, you want that. Auto approve comments. You don't want to be commenting all the um, posts and everything else. So here's um, another um, option. Uh, you can get links if you. Um, uh, there's a links text file that comes with this that you can edit. And if you put these links in here, what this will do is it will make um, the comment author's name a link to a site that you want. It's a good way to get links, um, but it's not very targeted because obviously the comment author's name isn't the keyword, but you can still get some links from it. So that's something to consider. Um, now, this is uh, where you can put start and end date. So, you know, I might put, so let's, let's put this at... Um, 150. Let's suppose it's 100. Okay, a start date would be uh, January the 1st, 2000. And oops, 10. And let's put our finish date as uh, May the 1st, 2010. And what that will do is it will spread. The, these hundred questions over that time, so randomize them through there. There's various templates you can use. Um, what the templates do is they will um, rewrite the content for you. So um, you can use any of these. Um, you can use a random one or just uh, a default one. What you can do with the templates is you can change how your post looks, where everything is posted, and so on. So you know you can put AdSense ads in with it and things like that. But if you're using the all-in-one AdSense, you don't need to. So the default plugin is often suitable. And uh, same with the comment. Uh, Markov does some rewriting of it. So you could use a Markov template, and what that will do is that will rewrite the content to some degree. And that's literally all you do. And then you click Go, and off it will go. Now you can see here I've requested 150 and it's going to sit there for some time and sit and work. So there you are, it tells me it's done it now. 100 new posts, 358 new comments. So if I visit my site, uh, we should be able to see some of the um, answers in here now. Right, okay, so here you can see the categories. Um, I set the uh, page. 
so you can see very very different ones so let's um go back you can see it's created all these categories for me now this is here because I set the home page to be the about page okay so here you can see we have all our posts there they all are you can see they've got tags they've got the categories and so on so with the click of a button I've created um, lots and lots of posts for me um, now using my all-in-one AdSense plugin uh, where's it gone uh, this AdSense one I can add AdSense ads to them I can use my Contera uh, plugin and that will add other uh, links in there as well I can use one or the other I can use SEO smart links and of course you know it's going to create me a really really good site and then if I use the Twitter commentator then obviously that is going to create additional comments and what those comments will do is make it look like it's a real site so you know this is an absolutely fantastic post and I can repeat this as many times as I want for all the different categories so I can do this for articles and it will pull articles uh, I could do it for YouTube and it will do that and you can obviously upload a text files of PLR articles and stuff like that so it's a fantastic tool and I'll just repeat this for different keywords from say Yahoo Answers and I can also put in different languages if that's what I wanted to do but you can see how easy and quick this is to work it takes you five minutes you know less in fact two minutes and there you are I've got a hundred posts um, you know you can set these to uh, whatever you want you know you, you can really mess around with this and get a lot from it so it's a very very powerful plugin and one that I really do think you're going to get a lot from if you decide to invest in it and use it